Welcome back to that episode of We Have No Gun because we are pacifist. And there it is. And now we are not. And we <laughs> can skip a prologue. No, we are not. The thing is, for some reason, the combat level is already level 10, which is really weird. I mean, why? Oh, there we go. Now it's gone. So sometimes the chat window disappears and I have no control of it. And sometimes it's back. I don't get it. This chat window is absolutely insane. It doesn't do what it's supposed to do. At least, not for me. Wait a minute. Um. Uh, da, 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 controls and display. There we go. Uh, or maybe it was on... Do we have a zoom option or something like that? I uh, don't think so. Oh, hot size. Yeah, wait a minute. 90? Maybe 80? Yeah. 80 looks nice. Not that intrusive. Let's keep that. So. Name tags. I don't want to see my own name. Thank you very much. Uh, I mean, that's also a title for some reason. Okay, that's weird. Ah, now it's gone. Sweet. I mean, how else would people know what channel to subscribe to? Uh, hmm. All right. It's a much cleaner experience. <laughs> there are some porters, which are small. We can not go into the water, right? There's other stuff here. Some mage. So not so much mage, can't do much up here. Right, what about... That's not doing anything. Okay, so we have to s talk to the porter here. Right. But I want to know what B actually does. It said something about the HUD. And I don't know why B is not changing anything. I mean, there was a setting. In the hotkeys. Basic. That says change HUD. Why is it not changing? Why? <laughs> Whatever. Rough voyage, huh? Uh, exactly. And why do they only get the first line out normally? As you know how sailors are, they aren't exactly the most pleasant type. Well, what matters is that you've arrived here in one piece. So it's time for you to start exploring the land, huh? Be worried though, the land lovers can stab you in the back any time. Uh, you're from the desert? I thought I recognized that weapon style. Agile weapon for an agile person, no doubt. Right. You need your eyes checked, mate. Here, take this. There are supplies for the true expedition. Uh, I don't know how dangerous this mission is supposed to be, but I hear the client investigated quite a bit of coin on this adventure. It contains a special weapon that was specifically crafted by Umar Blacksmith, so check it out. And then we handy have... soon enough. Mm. Equip gear from your inventory. Thank you. So press left click and use equip to the items. Da 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 da. What do we have here? We have some rare stuff. Um I mean I already have an item. So you can you can obtain all of the following items. Uh-huh. How do I open this immediately? Like, I can drag and drop it? I can. The thing is, I have to right click it. Ah, then I can open it. Okay. So now we have that one. It is slightly higher. More weapon damage. Same movement speed. More durability. Thank you. And there's also a gear preset that you can switch between. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's equip this. So, what am I going to do with that, though? Item level mm -hmm. minus 10. Ah, compare stats. That's perfect. You don't have to lock anything. Ah, nice, nice, mm -hmm. nice, nice. Right. Yeah. Do we talk to Maba again? Uh, looks like it. Wait a minute. This weapon had the same look. I like you. You got the right kind of eyes for this job. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, you can always tell a quality adventure from some pretender by the eyes. People of quality are hard to come by in the Forgotten Land these days. Actually, this team here ain't bad, so the treasure payoff must be huge. Do you know anything about it? Uh, choose. Choose what? <laughs> choose! What do you mean? <laughs> nice options. Gerga filled me in on the whole deal. It seems a priest from the Sacred Order has put out a huge reward to help him find a hidden treasure in Trua. There was a war fought at this place a while back. It was deemed unsafe by local authorities, but I guess the they opened it back up again. I always figured anything of value was destroyed in the war. All these fighter types make me wonder if they are not walking into... Um... Wait, what was that? Trap! Wow, look at him. Yeah, what, what is he doing? See how the, the seasick priest is doing. Help me, adventurer! Mm -hmm. Adventure, can, I need your aid. Uh -huh, uh -huh, can you uh -huh. bring me some water? Dude, we are surrounded by water. Get yourself a bowl, heat it up and drink it. So, see how the bit da da da. Check the location on the quest objectives to know where to go. Right. Quest number one is that. Correlates to that. Easy. Approach the target object and interact. Yeti. How often am I supposed to see this one with G? Jesus. Filling the bottle with fresh water. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I would still advise to burn the whole thing eh, because you don't know what kind of bacteria are in natural bodies water. of water. Sweet water. I haven't uh, sweetened it yet. Just say. Yeah, it's much better. Thank you very much. I had no idea seasickness could be this bad. I had a hunch you were kind soul. I'm glad I was right. May I have your name, kind adventurer? It is the Navari, best channel in the world. Uh, quite a unique name. I definitely won't forget that one. Mm -hmm. And more voice. Quite a unique name yourself. The priest of Sakria. I'm seeking the hidden treasure beneath the ancient city of Trua. What kind of treasure is that? Uh, it seems you haven't heard from Gurkha. Allow me to fill you in on the details. Archaeolog Archaeological data deciphered by the church has revealed that this land contains the last treasure of the prophet. The news has resulted in many adventures doing the hunt, for... though nothing has been found yet. More and more people are hearing about a land of gold and opportunity, which means the church had to act fast if it wanted to find the treasure. The church decided to hire many skilled adventurers to explore this land on their behalf. And they also decided to send priests such as myself to oversee things. I didn't think I would be selected for such a dangerous job. But, oh look, that one over there is Gurkha, who leads this expedition. Gather round. Ray, go to the campfire, probably. Oh, kind of. Approach the person who shouted. Oh, wait a minute, where's... The where are my high level skills? Where are my high level skills? Wait a minute, they're also- Ah, oh, I can summon turrets! Perfect. So there really are additional skills that you can use in here. Law of the jungle. On hit. Damage to lesser and normal foes goes up. Ha! <laughs> Neat. I have to go into detail at the later point in here though. So, Gurgi. Pick up the pace! Get moving! <laughs> Now what? I'm the captain of the Trua expedition. Call me Gurkha. Mm -hmm. Interesting Gurkha you have there. Eh? I'm sure you're all aware, but Trua was an ancient city destroyed by the war long ago. We have only one mission in this cursed land. It's to find the treasure requested by the priest by following the clothes left behind in the ancient city, if there are any. All of you are expendable. If you do nothing, uh, anything foolish or cause trouble, I will not hesitate to leave you behind. These are the maps made by the advanced party. Just tap to access the map at any time. Check the map as often as you can. Check the map like Gurkha said. Press tap or don't. Check it. 
as often as you can. Or just keep it open. <laughs> and uh, maybe decrease the opacity a little bit. Right. But we are only a few people in here. So... Seeing the people as something that's expendable definitely does not help you in your adventure. I mean, it's okay if you have like thousands of them all on the ready, but not on an island with only a handful. The of advance people. party that came first said they had finished exploring the area, but there was nothing to gain. Hmm. And how useless. Starting today, we are going to explore the deeper regions of this land. Now, I must warn you: if you don't report any treasure or suspicious close to find, you will be deep, deep. Shit. Hold on. That overwhelming scent. Some sort of creatures near. Be on guard. Captain! Trolls in the camp! No. Damn it all! Wake up and grab your weapons! <laughs> Everybody Let's has a sword trolls. and a magic stuff. Meanwhile, what do we have? A bloody gun. That is uh Move quickly! Defend not the yet camp. able to shoot fire though. Wait a minute. Um I need to look at the video quality. I mean everything is set on very high, but for some reason the texture quality, at least if it's zoomed in very much, does not hold on the Press C or right click to use a basic attack. Yeah. But otherwise, uh, ooh, I would just like to have the camera moved out a little bit more. I mean, that would be much nicer. Where'd all these trolls come from? Wipe them all out! <laughs> So, defeat the attacking trolls, 8%. Doesn't say anything about it, like... Ooh, okay. How do you deactivate that ability? Preemptively. How? <laughs> I don't want to stand there. Uh, and shoot constantly. I want to stop that sometime. Ah, uh, no. Okay, so S is always right in front of you. No, 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 no. Got it. <laughs> Thank goodness there's something called infinite ammunition. Oh, otherwise, I would be screwed. So, the gherkin has to be talked to yet again, it seems. What a waste of energy. I need to hear about the roots of approach from the advanced party investigation. We'll have to hurry to find it ourselves. Only those who are not as seriously injured will be treated and go all together. Hey, priest, you can do that, can't you? Uh, sure, of course. Oh. You are quite terrifying. Please, put down the knife. Uh, that's not what the text is supposed to say, but all right. I came here on the condition that I would not be burdened, so I've got to do my job too, right? But I could use a little help. Would you be able to give me a hand? Sure, I would. Hey, let someone else tend to the priest. We should be Circling searching the, lead, the surroundings. Definitely won't be easy. <laughs> so, uh, approach the cat Wade it is over here. And then there's also another adventure. Heal the injured. Okay, that's the one we need to heal. And there is a... Interesting, what is that? Whoa! Truer roster record. The troll attack continued for four days. A thorough search was conducted in the vicinity to find their base. I found clues suggesting the trolls were moving along the river. It is presumed that there is a road leading to the land across the river. We must cross the river. 
River, river, river. To our roster record number two. We've searched up and down the riverbanks for a safe route to cross the river. Again, but failed. Now we have no choice. We must cross the river directly. However, due to the depth of the water and the heavy current, crossing by raft will be difficult. We took some time and set about making a small probe to test the raft. <laughs> then came to unexpected problem. After launching, the ship did not move forward, but continued to circle and rotate in one place. It was really strange. Every time we tried to launch the probe, the speed of the flow changed, almost as if the river was actually blocking our progress. Actively, not actually. Actually, actively. Plug. Number three of the Dwarf Wards. Uh, uh, background information on Trua. The ancient city of Trua was said to be destroyed a long time ago. Uh, long ago war with the devil. It is said that before its collapse, the priests of Trua hid precious treasures in the shrine. Trua is considered sacred ground, where mortals and gods conversed freely. If Trua's treasure really do exist, I have no doubt that their value will be priceless. If it's the last thing I do, I'm going to go get that treasure. Right. Question. How do you know that this is something you can pick up? I mean, you know that if you walk past it, kind of, but you don't see this from afar, really. Like, there's no... Look at all of the items on the ground kind of thing. Also, I don't really know how looting in this game works. If it even does exist. Whatever. Let's see. Let's inspect the tent. What have we found? We got it. Inspect it. Uh, let's heal some uh, other guy. Thank you. It's not a serious injury. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> we need to find something at least. This team must have cost that priest a fortune. Hmm. I think it's already too late for these people. Oh. Ah, and the danger has not yet passed. If we don't prepare for what comes next, we'll lose our lives just like that. Uh, this is an HP potion, which I have 50 of at the moment. I brought from the order. Only use it when you're in danger. The red bar at the bottom of your screen indicates your HP. How does he know that? <laughs> if you run out of HP, you won't be able to continue your adventure, obviously. I'll place it in the hard key slot for you, so you can use it in emergencies. And F1 is the button that you usually press in emergency situations. It's usually space bar or some space bar, space bar, or some other stuff. i place it in the hot, yeah, that was done. Let's continue that. I already gave oh. some the potion. Yeah, uh, express gratitude. Cr 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 the treasure is important, but making it out alive is what truly matters. Mm. Make good use of that potion. Yeah, that one potion that you can drink 20 times. You definitely have potential based on how you took down those trolls without breaking a sweat. Well, that is all thanks to my trusted... <laughs> it's all thanks to my little friend. Uh, these are some pretty great combat skills you're using. Sure, combat skills? No, it's not skills. It's technology. Yes, there are special skills that Avengers use during combat. Since everyone walks into battle in their own unique style, based on their class or virtues, uh -huh. don't break the fourth wall too much. Keep things fresh by checking what's available in your combat skill window as often as you can. You know how to manage your combat skills, right? Uh, I know everything. Kind of, but uh, let's just give me more information. Maybe I've overlooked something. Open the window with K, you'll then see all the skills you can use and you'll be able to learn in the future. As you gain experience in the world, you'll earn skill points and use the skill points to increase the skill level. When the skill level reaches 4, 7 or 10, uh, you'll be able to set up the skill tree. And that one adjusts skills to match your own combat style. And depending on that skill tree, combat skills can be faster, stronger or even have special powers. You're a skilled adventurer, so I'm sure you'll find the perfect combat skill for yourself. It's a flamethrower one. Before you start the expedition, check your combat skills and think about which skills are the best for this situation. Why don't you open it and have a little look around? Sure. Right, now what do we have? We have some recommended points or required points, whatever the rec means. Mm, do we have any points available though? <laughs> I can't click on one. It's a skill level one and that's it. 
That's also... Oh, that's a specialty. Barrage Howitzer. Huh. Bringer of salvation. Follow the guidance of wisdom and become the fly that burns your foes. Nothing in here. Right. Maybe you have to select something else. There's more specialty with the holding. Uh, where's the... F there. Level 14. Flame fry. So... <laughs> level 14 isn't that far off. Let's see. What does the flame fry do? Oh, wait. Combat level... 12. Combat level 12 again. Max level 5. Max level 5 again. Ah. 20 points. Okay, so you have to set something up here first. Giant rocket. Uh, oh, I was looking at the wrong one. There we go. Firepower control. Per hit firepower meter. Recovery plus 100%. Quick prep. Cooldown goes down. Yes. Vital point attunement. Crit rate plus 20%. Because it's a flamethrower. During skill use, ignores collision with normal foes. Slightly increases movement speed. And attack range goes up even further. Generates a shield that absorbs damp. Oh, all of the good stuff. Element is now water. What? Azure flame. Okay, duration is now 2 seconds. Total outgoing damage plus 60%. Uh -huh. So we have like a water gun. And then we have Scorching Blaze. Burns foes in a wider area. If uh, Burning Hand... Yeah. Wait, what? If Burning Hands hits and burns foes. Inflicting damage every one second for ten seconds. Stacks up to five times. Neat. It says Burning Hands. Where are the Burning Hands? This is called the Flame Roll thing. Weird. Really weird. What about settings? Oh. Hmm, track skill trees for da 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 Okay, I can check this one. Strange. Multiple rock lo- Come on! Wait a minute, cancel. But yeah, you can actually change the element of certain attacks. That's quite nice. Also a laser cannon. Now fires a laser! <laughs> Look. Oh, the fact that you can actually alter all of those skills is pretty neat. Love that. Absolutely love that. So I can actually magic control. Huh. Oh, that is sweet. That is neat. What about napalm shot? I want this to fire the explosion. Sure. Fierce heat. Flash explosion. Dancing flame. Expands the flame area. Two consecutive hits. Sure. Explosion attack hits. Take up. Whatever. It does things, and we can make things use it. Let's thank more We never know what's going to happen, so it's best to prepare for the worst. Mm -hmm. Death. I feel exhausted, and the exploration hasn't even started yet. At least, Gekka seems very passionate and full of greed. <laughs> I heard Gekka is a good explorer, so he should find a way to the old city soon, right? I don't know if we'll actually find treasure worth as much as Gekka's dream. None of the information we have mentions uh, its true value. It could be something extremely dangerous, or it could just be an ordinary rock. Maybe it could even have something to do with arcs. What arcs are you talking about? Fabled artifacts of great power. Most people believe they are myths, but the church takes arcs research very seriously. And this is a secret, but everyone knows it. We are guessing the prophet's treasure we are looking for may have a clue to the arc. And I think we found something over here. This way! This way. Everyone gather up! We are going to break through the barrier and advance! Just wait a moment and bam! What on earth is this barrier? There we go. Hop on! How do you stop that skill? I mean, there has to be a button. Maybe you have to move or something like that? Don't want to stand there. Okay. So, this not working. That's not working. Okay. So, you cannot move. You cannot click the button. And you cannot use another ability to override that. So, I have no idea how the Gatling... Wait a minute. 
We may have an idea. Gatling gun. Enhanced shot outgoing damage. Quick prep cooldown. Inflict damage to foes over two seconds on skill use grants push immunity. <sighs> All incoming damage goes down by three. Yeah, there has to be a thing. Absolutely. Otherwise, we're screwed. Changes to holding. There we go. Attack for up to four seconds. Maximum base attack sounds a match. So, Will of the Destroyer is absolutely necessary if you want the Gatling gun to be useful. Because otherwise, you stand there and you can get killed <laughs> if you don't get the right positioning. Uh. It is believed the ruins of Trua are protected by the gods. Between traps and crumbling ceilings, we should be careful. Whoa! These giant statues were built in the image of the gods. Regulus himself created the Ark, the ever-burning light of creation. The Ark contains great power. The power to create and the power to destroy. Just like a god. If only we could figure out its location. Boy! Oh. You gonna flap your gums all day, priest? Oh. He's right. We should be quiet. Actually, no. Give me more background story. Come on. Those boats are getting drawn to the pier all of a sudden. This place, it doesn't seem normal. Hmm. Yeah, look at the Seems like we're on the right track. Follow me and watch your step. Okay. Approach the cliff and then Oh. Yeah, I know that. Okay, now we can interact with terrain. I mean... If this one is pointing over there and you're already given thousands of you interact with this, you interact with that kind of thingies then. And, uh, wait a minute. Yeah, you cannot click on the cliff, right? You have to actually press G for that. Pretty interesting. <laughs> the early bird that hey, stay put! <laughs> that dude's gonna get himself killed. What is that? Wait a minute. So either you go through here, or we're gonna have ourselves a little jump. But, um, yeah, this is a <laughs> predefined way of going about. I mean, there could also be some items that I just I forgot. So, wait a minute. Wouldn't there be a nice way to look for items down there? But now the Adventure. Collectibles. Alt and L. Guides. No, we don't need guides. Yeah, wait a minute. Let's just quickly look at the settings for a moment. Mm. I'm interested in the hotkey things. Is there something that shows items or something like that? Show loot name. There we go. Alt. So if there's... Well, if there is loot, but... It's the trolls again. We have to break through their lines. Prepare for battle. Ooh. There's AOE shenanigans coming in. Captain, more trolls incoming. There's no end of this. I can't believe you destroyed the bridge. What about the 
others trapped on the other side. Don't whine at me! You have a death wish. It had to be done! Huh. Yeah, use the equip the item using da 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 da. I think this drops all the time, kind of. And B doesn't do anything for us anymore. So... Is there a pick up everything button? Hmm. Let's see... This one makes things better everywhere. Right. Wait, wait. Ah, uh, no, it's working. I think I double clicked that. No. Hmm. Whatever. Now we got better stuff and we can probably dismantle it at one point. Not now though. Are you mental? <gasps> I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> yeah. Also glad. Look at that distance. I mean... Without the heavy gun, you can definitely do that. With a little bit of a... Uh, running up towards it, but... Can't do that like that, though. So, let's talk to Gurkha and slap him in the face. I was just making a rational decision to save everyone. Uh-huh. Stop with the rational decisions for a moment. You made it out alive, didn't you? Well, hmm, kind of. As for you, you were faster than I thought you would be. Uh, it could be useful later on. Uh, when all is done, I'll take your actions into consideration when we divide up the compensation. But don't get too cocky. It's not over yet. Any casualties? No? Good. Then, should we continue? Of course, we should. This seems like the entrance to the city, but it's blocked. Block. 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 Uh, open sesame. Yeah, can't read the. Hey, What's written there? Priest, what does it say? Good question. What does it say? No reaction. <sighs> Not yet. When in doubt, blow it up. And we have the tools for that as well. Neil, bring me the demo equipment. Give it to me. All right. Uh, listen. Set this up within the crack over there, and then run like hell. You are the faster one here, so you have the best chance of getting clear of the blast. Just don't stop running unless you want to join the door and getting blown sky high. Right. Run as fast as you can once you set it up. Is there another way of opening that? All right, take a bump from the uh... That thing goes off fast. I hope nothing goes wrong. Hmm. Why can't we just have him, I don't know, a larger fuse? When the bomb is... I did not read that. Okay. I think I have to press space bar. So. And ready to run after placing the bomb. Go. Use space bar. Use the movement screen and get clear of the right side. Uh. This is oh! Ancient magic. Wait, what? Even the explosion didn't take it out. Right. Damn! That stone ain't gonna budge. Is there another way? Hmm. Oh, look at that. Maybe if we ask nicely, it will open. And disappear. Entirely. The That's path. strange. It's open. That's definitely weird. It's open. Yeah. Like, isn't that a bit curious? What is this? Uh, uh, what just happened? Did you open the entrance to the collapsed ruin? Mm. Lights appeared, and the door. Then they opened the door. Lights. I didn't see anything. Neither did anyone else. It seems like you just opened the door. I'm not sure what happened, but something strange is going on here. The faintly written letters on the door. I couldn't read it precisely, but it talked about waiting for a chosen one. Which is me. I don't know what all of that's about, but I'm glad you're here. We better get move on. Dum 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 dum. Hey Cap, I don't think we'd be getting anything out of this. 
Let's see. Can we look at the environment? Oh, look at that. That looks cool. Wait. Uh, is that a show or hide UI button? Maybe like menus or something like that? Overlay the map? Nah. UI. Something, something UI. Ha! Hide UI. Alt and X. I was looking at it at the get go. I just kind of. Oh, it goes in stages. Press escape or alt X to show the UI again. So this is everything. Then you can get rid of additional info. Even more additional info. Uh, so there's only the skill. This is actually quite nice. That's really neat. And then it gets rid also of the skills. So it goes in stages. Then everything's back to normal again. So if you don't like all of those menus always showing up or actually the minimap would be quite useful though and all of this on the top left and all of that down there i would say that uh this one right here is the perfect fit so you have to press this twice and then come back here again anyway oh i managed to get some silver sweet let's talk to um talk to the angry expedition leader this guy has a name and it's called gurkha what Fool priest! I came all the way here and we found nothing! Uh huh. And whose fault is that? Are you sure there was an old city here? No city, no treasure, it's nothing but dead ends everywhere. Are we even going to get paid or is that not real like everything else? Well, the payment is. No. <laughs> Calm down. You will be well compensated. <laughs> you better not be lying. Hmm. Now, look around the, the edge of the cliff. Yes. I mean, this is not it. And, uh, this is not it. There's an awful lot of lights going on. Probably just have to stand here. And... Oh, no, let's see. There's nothing to see. Ah. The introduction... Ah, this is neat. Wait a minute. An invisible city? I mean, it escalated a bit too much. Here all along. Why'd you do that? We're gonna be rich. <laughs> That definitely escalated a bit too much. Right. Let's go. Right. I think the treasure is over there. Hmm. And before we continue hey, on our little treasure hunt and keep Neil safe, we are going to end this episode. Until then, like and subscribe, of course, and uh, ta-ta.